What's the greatest painting of all time? The answer is so simple. It's The Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bosch. The painting was done between 1490 and 1510. Bosch was about 40 to 60 years while he was doing the painting. The painting can be seen as a warning about sin or it can be seen as a celebration of sexuality. The painting is an example for a triptych. A triptych painting contains three panels and each, these three, each of these three panels have ideas that are similar to each other though they are different paintings in themselves. Bosch has done many other triptychs other than the Garden of Earthly Delights. But when you, when you see the big picture, Garden of Earthly Delights is actually quite unique when compared to its other triptychs. For example, when you fold the, this famous triptych, you get this image of the earth. This is an ancient image of the earth that comes according to the geocentric worldview much different from the heliocentric worldview which was presented much later and if we notice carefully there are no human beings in this picture and some say that it is the earth during the third day of creation according to the bible the first panel in garden of earthly delights represents the creation of eve in the garden of eden the second panel is actually the title the garden of earthly delights some say it is a, repre a representation of the sins of the world others say that it's a representation of an utopian world that could have existed if adam and eve had not eaten the forbidden fruit the third panel is actually a representation of hell so the third panel is actually a very very scary uh, panel so people during the 15th, 14th century or 15th century, they would have got really scared while looking at this panel. But some say it's also satirical or in a way funny. In the first panel, we have God presenting Eve to Adam. So Adam is actually tired after the operation and a rib has been taken out from him and Eve has been created. Adam's glances towards Eve at the same time, he touches God with his, the tip of his toe. So in this pain panel, you can also see a lot of animals. The animals represent God's plenty. These animals are also freaks, something which would capture the mind of a person in the 1510s or something like that. Even animal like giraffe was a surprise for a person during those times. Yes, even this giraffe was supposed to be unique. The viewer would have been at awe seeing all these diverse gods' creations. This pink structure also captures our eyes. It has certain familiar uh, animals, yet it's uh, beyond our imagination to see these marvels. In the second panel, we have strawberry as a symbol of pleasure, temporary pleasure that these people enjoy in paradise. And you have owls that symbolizes wisdom. And you have these people enjoying with animals going round and rejoicing in their earthly pleasures. And they are not worried about anything. They are enjoying in the moment. Even in the water, you can fee feel they are different ways of enjoyment that they go through and they are living in a mini paradise and you have mermaids uh, and uh, easter eggs and you have this character with two cherries on her head which symbolize as her pride and you have a character drinking something which is exotic and a couple inside a shell that could could represent earthly delights of uh, sexual union or privacy or something like that and if you look carefully you can see this pool of, uh, of delight and the birds flying in a particular order and this 
women who enjoy the fruits that actually help them to attract men into their life and this pool of water is surrounded by other men who share the fruits of pleasure and these fruits make them very exotic and the pods give a different meaning this couple who is inside this pond actually is symbolic and if you notice the the pod is actually cracking and means that their romantic the romantic delusions will not last long now we'll come to the final panel of the triptych it's a vision of hell bosch criticizes non religious music which is actually a distraction from our vision of god such musicians are actually punished in hell according to this painting then we have a see that scott in ice this could be a punishment for sailors who strayed away from god's message then you have a nun who is actually a pig so this is actually a criticism of nuns who are not living according to god's plan and then you have people suffering because of weapons and other evils such as gambling the dice is actually a representation of gambling then you have the tree man who houses people who were gluttons in their lives and you can find those gluttons in this body of the tree man then you have people who committed the deadly sin sin of greed who are eaten and excreted by this mysterious creature and you have the woman who is a victim of lust and you have a person vomiting it's also a sign of greed and gluttony bosch's representation of a burning city and people running from the city are quite modern and an interesting thing about this city is how it is presented how lights and shadow are presented in a painting so this is a very unique instances of how night lights are presented so what else have you inferred from this great painting so tell in the comments below like and subscribe to denver's den youtube channel